never dropped a video in a while though. We did watch yeah, we watched this nigga before. Pretty sure we watched all these. This is who I was trying to find, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, hold on. Avatar the last airbender cabbage theory. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. I'm interested to hear this cabbage theory though. We seen the SpongeBob one, but I You got me intrigued, brother. Water. Earth. Fire. Christian Bale's brother. Boy, shut your blockhead ass up, boy. The Cabbage Merchant from Avatar The Last Gareth Airbender Bale. is a Fire Nation spy. Here's a whole bunch. I believe he is the true villain of Avatar. Secret what? How? ...orchestrating the events of both shows. How? And also, I think he's Cabbage Bending. But, but we'll get to that part later. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but I promise you, this will be the most convincing Avatar theory you will ever hear. Rest in peace, Gareth Bale, though, for real. He was a real one. He's not dead, though. This is Cabbage Theory. Nah, he's right. My cabbages! <laughs> So, My cabbages. Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm guessing most people who clicked on this video have already seen it, but on the off chance you haven't. Yes, I just recently watched it. Actually, damn, has it been a year already? Wait, has it been a year since we since we did the 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 Avatar uh the Avatar marathon? When when did I when when did I watch it? Was it the, was it the top of this year or was that last year? Was that at top? Was that the top of this year or was that last year? I should have wrote it down when I watched this shit, bro. Fuck. Damn it. It's basically a show where some people can control one of the four elements, and the Avatar, the only person who can master all four elements, it's been a has year to stop the Fire Daddy. Nation from taking over the world. Don't say but that. why would I possibly think yeah, that a random meal. Earth Kingdom cabbage that merchant last is actually oh, a was. Fire Nation spy? And a cabbage bender, but we'll get to that later. You know, he's just a funny running gag character. All we ever see him do is get his cabbages destroyed. <laughs> oh, speaking of Meek Mill, I know this is not going to make any sense at first but i have a theory that meek mill is secretly in a disney um in a disney movie i'm not gonna say too much but all i'm gonna say i have a theory there's a theory that meek mill was in a early 2000s what does what does Meek Mill? <laughs> Meek Mill was in an early two thousands cartoon, Disney cartoon. And all I'm gonna say is that nigga that nigga been that nigga been a tune character since since the his conception. My cabbages! <laughs> My cabbages! My cabbages! My cabbages! Well. Think about it. We are told many times throughout the show that there are Fire Nation spies. Mm, he was probably true. trying to signal the Fire Navy. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's a spy for the Fire Navy. How do we know you're not Fire Nation spies? Jet, he's just an old man. He's Fire Nation. He was sent to eliminate me. Mm. But Debbie strangely, Jet. we never actually see any of them. But at the same time, we know there must be spies out there because someone is giving Zuko very detailed information about the gang's whereabouts. We're closing in on the Avatar's trail. There have been multiple sightings of the Avatar. Somehow Prince Zuko and the Fire Nation keep finding us. And Wait, I thought it's because he had like sparrows or some shit, right? Wasn't it because he had the birds or whatever? You saying the cabbage nigga was a nigga feeding him information? I'm here for it. Let me ask you this. Who does the gang constantly run into throughout the, the entire show? The Cabbage Man. The Cabbage Man. The Cabbage Man. Okay, I know, it's, it still sounds like a stretch, but don't worry. 
Nah, you're, you're on to something. We're on to something. In three, the gang goes to see a you're fire nation play brother. all about their adventures. You guys are not going to believe this. There's a play about us. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Because literally, isn't that how he... Literally, when they were when he was chasing them, is isn't that literally how uh, Azula found them when they ran away from uh, uh, what you might call it? Ain't ain't that literally how Azula found uh them because of Appa's hair, uh fur? But maybe it's not this. Not, we're this is this is Azula we're talking about, not 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 uh not a uh, Zuko. So maybe, I don't know, maybe the Cabbage Man was gathering the fur for Azula. Because let's be honest, right? We ain't never seen Azula pick up the fur. Niggas just saw the fur. And guess who else was there? The Cabbage Man. <laughs> I'm the Avatar, silly. Here to spread joy and fun. It's basically just Fire Nation propaganda where the Fire Lord is shown as the good guy and wins in the end. The world is mine. But other than that, the plot of the play is surprisingly accurate. Riddles and yeah. challenges must you face. No, shit! What did they do to you? Must. Nah, they're actually yeah. Cause I, I did not say this while we were watching this. Like. I was then I'll say something on the lines like how the hell how the hell did they know all these events happen when they're not even like they weren't even like showcased like this because like they were they were bringing out events where like there no way the Fire Nation was even there so it's like how do they even know all this information how so where did they get all of this information about the gang his sources include singing nomads, like, yeah, I was like, how, like, well, how the fuck was that happening? Knowledgeable merchant of cabbage. Wait, what? Surprisingly knowledgeable merchant of cabbage. Nigga, what? The surprisingly knowledgeable merchant of cabbage. Huh. Why did the cabbage merchant, an Earth Kingdom citizen, help them write Fire Nation propaganda? I swear to God, I do not remember that nigga saying that. I swear to God, I did not. Nah, wait a second. This nigga cooking. He's kind of cooking. I do not remember that nigga saying that. Cabbage Man is moving div. Bro, that nigga was... Maybe he wanted his cabbages destroyed on purpose. Imagine that nigga getting his shit cabbage. He's like, my cabbages! Prince Zuko, I have the whereabouts of Aang and the crew. They're right here at... My cabbages! That nigga, that nigga was... That nigga was getting... He was literally... He was literally laundering money through them cabbages. Lorna, ah, uh, hey man, hey. Cause he's actually a Fire Nation spy. That nigga fake mad. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Maybe he didn't necessarily know he was helping the Fire Nation. For all we know, someone just asked him about the Avatar and he was more than willing to complain about the guy who has destroyed his cabbages many times. But to be fair though, if I'm gonna be honest though, that nigga was in areas where he don't need to be there. Cause you like he in Earth Kingdom selling cabbages. Why the fuck are you in the Fire Nation selling cabbages too? Aang gets captured. Why are you there selling cabbages? Hmm? Middle of the middle of an island. Why are you there selling cabbages? Why are you there every time the crew is there? There's no way you can say it's a coincidence of niggas selling cabbages out of coincidence. You just so happen to be there every time they're there. Really? Come on, bro. You know, he might be a little petty, but there's no reason to think Come he's on, secretly bro. trying to take down the Earth Kingdom. Right? And didn't the Earth Kingdom have... He literally about to say it! 
Didn't the Earth Kingdom have Fire Nation spies in it? Oh hell nah. Wait, this brother cooking, right? This brother cooking. I'm tapped in. With generative AI ah. and AWS, companies are already transforming. That's how what they I'm work. saying. There's only so many times that you could call it a coincidence when the nigga is literally there every time Aang and them are about to get captured. Why is the cabbage man there every time Aang and them are running away from somebody? How the fuck that even, how do you do that? You can't tell me it's a coincidence when it happens more than seven times. At that point, <laughs> this is planned. In book two, the cabbage merchant tries to take the ferry to Ba Sing Se, but he gets rejected by the ticket lady. I told you already. That ain't no, no fucking coincidence. on the ferry. One cabbage slug could destroy the entire ecosystem of Ba Sing Se. Security. Ah! My cabbages. Oh, my cabbages. She destroys his cabbages to avoid risking cabbage slugs from getting into the city. Now, this may seem like a bit of an overreaction, but Ba Sing Se is a closed off, self contained ecosystem. That's true. If the wrong pest got in, it could quickly spread and be devastating mm. for the city's agriculture and economy. And you know what's crazy about all this? She was right. Ow. Amen. Say, man. I'd even notice that little nigga. It's the small details, my nigga. It's the small details. Because at first it looked like a regular cabbage, but what cabbage you know got two black eyes on it? This nigga Alex Bell is the goat. Hey, man, he is a fucking detective. I'd even notice that. It's the small details, my nigga. If you look really closely as the cabbage cart gets destroyed, you can just barely see a cabbage slug flying through the air. One cabbage slug could destroy the entire ecosystem of Ba Sing Se. Listen to what the lady says. A single cabbage slug would destroy the entire ecosystem of Ba Sing Se. If the cabbage merchant actually got into Ba Sing Se like he wanted, he would have personally been responsible for the downfall of the capital of the Earth Kingdom. <laughs> okay, okay, that's that's not like a great look for the cabbage man, but you know, maybe, maybe it was just an accident. Right. No, no, I refuse to accept that. Look at this guy. He is so passionate and yeah, obsessed with his crazy. cabbages. Off with their heads! One for each head of cabbage! Literally, his only defining trait is how much he cares about his cabbages. <laughs> Does this really seem like the type of guy who wouldn't know if he had cabbage slugs? He's a Fire Nation spy! He is. But I agree. Why? I mean, he clearly has a vendetta against Aang, but why would he be intentionally trying to take down the Earth Kingdom? Well, Aang is not the only one who destroys his cabbages. We've seen him try to enter both Omashu and Ba Sing Se, and both times, Earth Kingdom bureaucrats destroyed yeah. his cabbages. What kind of slum do you think this is? <laughs> Okay, I ain't gonna lie, that was disrespectful. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> nigga did not have to do that, bro. Who do you think this is? Nigga, nigga slapped, nigga slapped the cabbage out his head and then literally bended the cabbage. <laughs> that was OD. Secure that was OD. Wait, hold on. I just know something, though. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I just know something. Slum, do you think this is? I just know something. Um, am I tripping or did one of the cabbages actually go over the wall? Am I 
am I tripping or did one of those cabbages go over the wall? Cabbage no jutsu. That's all I'm going to say on that one, bruh. Security! Ah! And these are only the times that we actually know about. For all we know, this is a regular occurrence for him. <laughs> and Play then... it back. I'm going to play it frame by frame. Here goes it. It's going up, right? Here is it. Here it, here it is right here, right? One cabbage. This cabbage right here. I know it look like a black dot, but this is a cabbage. You can see the other cabbages right here. That other cabbage is gone. Hold on, let me share this. Not on my screen. The mission is complete. All I'm gonna say. Security! Ah! And these are only the times that we actually know about. For all we know, this is a regular occurrence for him. <laughs> and then, he's forced to watch as they immediately let Aang, his mortal enemy, inside directly after him. My cabbages! Enjoy your mind. He caused it. Security! It is my pleasure to help you. All right, we scammed that lady good. He didn't even have a ticket to get into Bossing Say. What the hell? And when Aang does destroy his cabbages and he tries to get justice, you're gonna pay for this! Off with their heads! One for each head of cabbage! Guess what the Earth Kingdom authorities do to Aang? Big, what is your big boomy sensei! Throw them! <gasps> a party! A feast! A feast! <gasps> They throw him a feast. The Cabbage Merchant has just as much reason to hate the Earth Kingdom. And I think the years of abuse and spe- Okay, to be- Okay, to the defense of Aang, though, that is his homie, though. That is the homie, though. He not gonna hold Aang like that. But he didn't know that, so that's probably why. Special treatment for the Avatar radicalized that's him into becoming though. a Fire Nation spy, attempting to take down the Earth Kingdom from within using infested cabbages. And you know what? I don't even think this was his only attempt to do this. Wait, what? I told you already! No vegetables on the ferry! The ticket lady says, I told you I already. I told you already. I told you already. This is not the first time he's tried smuggling cabbage. Okay, to be fair though, she could have just repeated. She could be saying that I, she, she could be, be like, he may try to do it like, like he may was like, how do I say it? Asking. And he just kept on repeating and he, and she's like, I told you already, nigga, we don't do this type of shit. I don't think this implies that she, he's been trying to do this, if I'm going to be honest. But I'm going to hear him out, though. Cabbage slugs into Ba Sing Se. And when he tried to enter Omasu, listen to why the guards rejected him. Rotten cabbages? What kind of slum do you think this is? Rotten. Rotten? Cabbages. I think the Cabbage Man was once again trying to sneak in infested cabbages into Omashu. And you know what? I think this time he actually succeeded. Despite being rejected and having his cabbage cart completely destroyed, just a few minutes later, we see him inside of the city with a whole new cart full of cabbages. My cabbages! My cabbages! <laughs> like what? Did he just find a spare cart full of cabbages somewhere? That's kind of sus, my boy. That's kind of sus. No, I actually think these are the same cabbages. We know from Return to Omashu that there is a secret sewer entrance into the city beneath the gate. A secret passage? That's true. Which is exactly- Wait, but are you- Oh, shit. Beneath the gate. A secret passage? which is exactly where the merchant's cabbages were thrown. <laughs> so I think the cabbage man went down there to retrieve his cabbages, discover the secret entrance, and- If he did all that, 
Nah, that's just a next level pettiness. If he did, if he, bro, if he went, <laughs> bro, if he went all the way down there, collected these nasty ass cabbages. Nah, that's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, the Fire Nation, yeah, they're definitely, he must be getting a bag out of this, bro. This is dedication. And successfully brought the infested cabbages into the city to weaken it for the Fire Nation. And you know what's really crazy about this? It worked. The next time we see Omashu, it's been conquered by the Fire Nation. The I'm not mad at it. Earth Kingdom City of Om. Oh no. They even make a point to tell us how surprising this is and how Omashu had never been conquered for the entire Hundred Year War. I can't believe it. I know the war has spread far, but Omashu always seemed untouchable. Up until now, it was. So, why is it now suddenly so vulnerable? It's because of the cabbage merchant. No, it's because it's because fucking Azula and old girl and them three fucking got got boomy. But to be fair, though, because I don't know if he's going to say it. We never figured out because I know they got I know they were. I know they were uh, I know they I know they disguised themselves to fit in Omashu. But they never really explained how she got into Omashu in the first place. We just we just knew that they were just in there. So the theory still stands. They tag team for sure. Cause the theory still his theory still stands though, cause it's like how else did they cause how else did they get into their in the first place, because she didn't sneak through the front. She must have went the same way Aang and them went through when they came back to Omashu. That's my, that's the only way. That means they used that shit before. And guess what? He was down there too. Sneaking through the back. Hey man. This theory. Alex, I'm here for you, boy. I miss my Alex, though. but. You know, we need an Alex here, man. And this is also exactly what happened to Ba Sing Se. Mm. He was rejected entry, his cabbages got destroyed, yep. but then later we see him inside of the city yep. with cabbages. My cap! <laughs> what did he take the fucking serpent's pass? And then shortly after he arrives and starts selling his cabbages, the city gets conquered yep. by the Fire Nation. Hmm. I okay, he did say he did say obviously Azula selling his cabbages. The city gets conquered. Obviously, Azula started the Bangsing Sei coup, but their economy and defenses uh, being weakened by the cabbage merchant definitely would have contributed. Yeah, I agree with that. Conquered by the Fire Nation. Hmm, I I'm starting to notice maybe a little a little pattern here. You yeah. can't deny it anymore. There's there's too many connections. Yeah. The cabbage merchant is working for the Fire Nation yeah. to help take down the Earth Kingdom and spy on the Avatar. He not wrong. And speaking of which. How exactly is the Cabbage Merchant spying on the gang? Like, obviously they've bumped into each other a couple times, but Zuko and the Ember Island players have a ton of information about the gang. Here's what you missed. We went to the Fire Nation, and you got better, and I got a sword, and I think Combustion Man died. Like, way more than anyone should have. It almost feels like there's something else going on here. And if you don't believe me, I reached out to a certified Avatar expert to see if there was any more examples of the Damn. Fire Nation knowing things they shouldn't. Right, so like in book three, when everyone thinks Aang is dead, how does Zuko's assassin Combustion Man keep finding them? It couldn't have just been- True, because I, I was like, how the fuck is he able to find them? I don't think they ever explained that. Dumb luck three times in eight episodes that he was just around, right? Seems unlikely. And how'd they know to put Toph in a wooden cell anyway? I'm gonna turn you in and collect a reward. Then you metal bend yourself out of jail. Hey, what kind of cell is this? A wooden one. If you think about it, no one in the Fire Nation should know that metal bending exists. Toph will True, because she literally, she literally created that on the spot. Wait, that is weird. How the fuck did they know that? Because she created that on the spot. How the fuck did they know they to put her in wood? Wait, hold on, wait. Niggas is spitting right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
only created it a few weeks ago, and the only people that have seen it are from the Earth Kingdom, and the Fire Nation troops aboard that ship who were probably just horribly, horribly killed by the Serpent. And talk they got spies everywhere? Bending in her That's what I'm that saying. Episode, only Earth bending. So why in the world would the Fire Nation town guards think they use a wooden cell, when they're not even aware that metal bending is a thing? Thank you, Mr. Overanalyzing Avatar. So, how could the Fire Nation possibly know all of this? Mm. Especially the stuff in Book 3 when the Cabbage Merchant isn't even around. It's almost mm. like the Fire Nation has another way to spy on the gang. A way that still involves the Cabbage Merchant, even if he isn't nearby. Okay, here's where my theory goes into full-on tinfoil hat conspiracy mode, so, so I'm just here for brace it. yourself. I'm here for There's it. There's a really strange detail in the episode, The Puppet Master. An episode that the Cabbage Merchant isn't even in. But still, I honestly think it's one of the strangest things in the entire show. In this episode, the gang goes to a Fire Nation market, and Katara buys a cabbage. Except, there's something very weird about this cabbage. It clearly has a very creepy looking face on it. Like, uh, huh? I swear, this is actually in the show. I, I did not edit this in. It's never even acknowledged. I'ma hear him out. I feel like this is a reach. I'ma hear him out though. In the episode, it's just a weird, creepy face watching the characters for no reason. Why in the world would the animator- Wait, hold on. Creepy face- It says- Hold on, I can't even read this. Some people think it's supposed to be Grand Grand's face since Katara mentions uh, her in, the, in this scene. Uh, I don't think it looks like her, and that, uh, I do think it looks like her, and that wouldn't, or I don't think that would look like her, and I, I, and that wouldn't explain why the face shows up on a random cabbage. Okay. Watching the characters for no reason. Why in the world would the animators include this? It's so weird. Okay. So I have a theory. Cabbage, but cabbage, no me? What I'm about to say is gonna sound completely insane. It's probably the stupidest possible thing I could say. But what if the cabbage merchant is using the cabbages to spy on the gang? That yeah. would be crazy. That would be... Cabbage, cabbage, man. That's, that's what I'm saying. The cabbage, cabbage, no me, bitch. This nigga's cabbage molding, uh, bending? How would that work, though? Because that's not even a, that's not even an ability that's, like, even in, like, even in Korra. I guess, would that, I guess that, that technically would be earth bending, right? Because that's a vegetable? And a vegetable grows from the ground, so I guess technically that would be? Earthbending? He's the only known member? Shit, who knows? I don't know. Yes, I believe that the Cabbage Merchant is a Cabbage Bender. Just like how Toph made metal. Okay, wait, wait. He don't, cabbage don't go. bends. I, I know that sounds stupid, but I swear. Actually, Lachetine, you're not wrong. Because Korra made that up off the spot. Now, to be fair, it is elements, right? But they never specify. They never specify how you know. Mm, I don't know, man. Nigga might be on some. He might be an unironic cabbage bender, or maybe he's a vegetable bender. So he's able to, you know, but he just uses cabbages. There, it makes sense. Just, just, just hear me out. In this show, there is a precedent for being able to spy on people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It had to be some earth bending with the swamp. I think I know how to find them. Everything is connected. This being a veg, veg bender would make sense. Yeah. Come on, we gotta hurry. And it isn't even just literally because he's about to mention it, but like now I think about it. It could make it could happen because literally the nigga in the swamp was an earthbender, but he was able to bend the the leaves in the swamp like shits. Like they were able to bend those swamp shits. So it wouldn't it, it realistically 
if we're gonna head at if we're gonna be head ass about this, realistically, he could technically do this. If we're going off that. Because they're also earthbenders, but they were able to bend the swamp. They were swamp bending, which they were bending them bending the leaves and shit. It wouldn't be that far fetched to say that he could do the same thing with the cabbages. I know it sounds head ass, but like Hey. It's like an avatar power either. Toph can use the swamp vines to literally see yep. the entire world. Yep. I'm more connected to the world than you've ever been. I can see Su and Lin, Zhao Fu and Republic City. I see everything. Now, obviously, this cabbage is not part of the swamp. But a major theme of Avatar is how separation is just an illusion and everything is connected. I get how the tree is one big thing, but the whole world? Sure. You think you're any different from me or your friends or this tree? The greatest illusion of this world is the illusion of separation. Mm. Things you think are separate and different are actually one and the same. Mm. Even the separation of the four elements is an illusion. We're all connected. Everything is connected. So everything in this world, including the cabbage merchant if you put and that cabbages shit together, across the entire world, it makes are sense. connected. And I think the merchant is somehow tapping into this connection to spy on the gang. I think, like, technically you could do this with anything in Avatar. He's just, like, really honed his ability on cabbages. He's cabbage bending. And I have evidence yeah. to prove it. This weird spiritual connection to cabbages explains why he's so obsessive and protective of them. Off with their heads! One for each head of cabbage! And it also explains why he's constantly feeling them for some reason. <laughs> He's not just randomly caressing a cabbage, he's connecting with it through cabbage bending. And if you don't believe me, one time while he's feeling a cabbage, we can see him literally sense the gang coming. <gasps> like yeah, there was a falling sound, but if you listen closely, he senses them before we can hear them. That's true. And the, and the falling sound is just for our indication to know that they're falling. Real life to the show, there will be no falling sound. So therefore, him sensing that, with, how, with them being far in the air, is kind of crazy. Spidey sense? No. Cabbage sense. Mm. For the sound. <laughs> Yeah. I'm quoting that. This also I'm explains that. how he would have been able to cabbage find the entrance into Omashu. His cabbage cabbages sense. fell down near the entrance, allowing him to sense it. I, I know it sounds crazy, but the evidence is here. The cabbage merchant is cabbage bending. Every time we see cabbages in this show, the merchant is using them to spy on the gang. He is always watching them. He's not just some random, funny background character. He is a highly skilled double agent working for the Fire Nation. And if you still, after all of this, don't believe that, then let me ask you this. Mm. How did a failing cabbage merchant get enough money to start an extremely successful technology company in The Legend of Korra? Cabbage. Public City's trusted name in technology for over 50 years. No! Not my cabbage corp! They even built- What? I don't remember this. I don't remember this. I don't remember this. He had a cabbage corp? Nigga, we watched all of Korra. I do not remember him having a cabbage corp. Years. No! City's trusted name in technology for over 50 years. Over 50 years? Nigga, he had a... What?
What? An extremely successful technology company in The Legend of Korra. Cabbage Corp, Republic City's trusted name in technology for over 50 years. No! Not my Cabbage Corp! They even built a massive statue of him in Republic City. They don't just hand these out, not even Katara got a statue. <laughs> the Cabbage Merchant built his empire with blood money he was paid by the Fire Nation to take down the Earth Kingdom. And he has gone on to become one of, if not the most rich and powerful people in all of Avatar. All right, there you go. Bet you didn't expect the My Cabbages guy to be the true villain of the show. You know, at least he doesn't seem to be doing it anymore. In fact, in Legend of Korra, his company is actually the main supplier of airships for the Earth Kingdom now. So, you know, it seems like he's gotten over his grudge. Maybe this is even his way of trying to make up for all the damage he's done to the Earth Kingdom. You know, maybe this story actually has a happy ending after all. Don't worry, I have a plan. These airships that Cabbage Corp sold to the Earth Kingdom are way cheaper than the ones Future Industries built. Now that's just shoddy workmanship. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's still fucking doing it. The controls are busted. It's not my fault this airship's a hunk of junk. Even generations later, the Cabbage Merchant is still secretly weakening the Earth Kingdom. <laughs> Nah, this nigga reach. Ah, oh, nah, we're reaching down, bro. <laughs> nah, we're reaching down, bro. We're reaching down, bro. Oh hell, nah. I will be honest. I do not remember Cabbage Court being like an actual like real thing in guitar. I must have like not wasn't paying attention to that. I thought the Earth Kingdom was just supplying their own shit. I didn't realize it was a cabbage core. I really thought it was the future tech industry niggas. Generational hate. Hey man. Nigga really said I'm a I'm a I'm a little nah, but that's crazy, man. But why? Is he still working for the Fire Nation? Wait a second. No, no, no. He can't be. In Legend of Korra, the Earth Kingdom and the Fire Nation are not enemies anymore. The new Fire Lord is even like super against yeah. the idea of fighting the Earth Kingdom. And this is um Zuko's daughter, right? Is it Zuko's daughter? If I remember correct, right? So why would the hell would he be working for them niggas? Because now that I think about it, I think the guy that they arrested was not the Cabbage Man, but that had to be like his son or his grandson or some shit. Kingdom. The Fire Nation has spent too much of its history fighting nonsense wars, and I refuse to drag my bad, nation though. into another one unless there's no other choice. Why bad, is the Cabbage Merchant still doing this? Who is he working for? Oh my god. It's so obvious. How did I miss this? The Cabbage Merchant is a member of the Red Lotus. What? Explain. The Red Lotus is an anarchist organization from Legend of Korra Book 3. And we're told that there are more Red Lotus spies out there, even though we never actually end up seeing them. And okay. even with Sahir locked up again, we still don't know how many Red Lotus members might be out there hiding. Hmm, that, that kind of sounds familiar. They hate governments and secretly took down the Earth Kingdom from within. Okay. Hmm, you know, that, that actually kind of reminds me of someone. They hate the Avatar and even tried to kill her. Now! I remember the Red Lotus because, you know, that's the I remember because the White Lotus is uh, Uncle Iroh shit, right? And I do remember this. The, yeah, because I remember this scene vividly. But my thing is, like, how does that connect to the Cabbage Man, though? I don't think the Red Lotus was the, was the Red was the was the Red Lotus really a thing in. In the original Avatar, I don't think so, right? I think they only talked about the White Lotus. Vaguely. Destroy the Avatar! Off with their heads! One for each head of cabbage! And each member of the Red Lotus is a highly unique and specialized bender. Uh, uh, cabbage bending! No, no, that, that's crazy! He can't be! He's not an anarchist, he's just the funny cabbage guy! <laughs> <laughs> the Red Lotus is a group that originally split off from the White Lotus. We are.
It all makes sense. 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 It all makes sense now. That would make sense as to why he would be there. Because if they split off, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Sure, what the White Lotus was meant to be, but after the Hundred Year War, the White Lotus lost its true purpose. Its members came out of hiding and openly served the Avatar. And you know, you'd probably think that if they're just like the White Lotus, but more extreme, their logo would probably be just a red version of the White Lotus's logo. But What's no, up, Maddie? they did a full on. I'm not redesign. Texas it doesn't Terry. Even look like a lotus flower anymore. But you know what it does look like? <laughs> oh fuck! I knew he was about to say a fucking cabbage, bro. Reach, yes. But he's not wrong. This flower anymore. But you know what it does look like? How you doing, Texas tea? A fucking cabbage. It's a fucking red cabbage. You can't keep getting away with this. Fuck. This boy cooked. I ain't gonna lie to you. I can't even refute that. I can't even rebuttal that. I can't even, you know? The nigga started the red cabbage. The cabbage man, I said the red cabbage, the red lotus. <laughs> I said red, the red cabbage. This man literally started the red lotus and recreated it and make it look like a cabbage. Cabbage man is the ultimate hater. The red cabbage, I didn't mean to say it. I, but, it but hey, that's probably why he didn't name it the red cabbage because it will be too inconspicuous okay bye thanks for watching my funny cabbage video no 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 i might have really fucked up my voice on this one no 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 uh yeah that's my theory thanks again to overanalyzing avatar for helping out with this theory that guy has like hey. an encyclopedic knowledge of this show so so go check him out a cabbage merchant in avatar what are you you talking about uh i know i'm not like the first person to ever notice some of these details but as far as i can tell hey i ain't gonna lie this was a w video bruh this was a w video shout out that man alex bell bruh w video he had me on the ropes i ain't gonna lie had me on the ropes for real but he not wrong see this is what happens when you start listening you know we not the only ones out there thinking about this tomfoolery. I'm glad to see you streaming Texas Terry. I'm not Texas Terry, you gosh dang plonker. W. Alex Bell. Hey, man, shout out that man, Alex Bell, man. He really had me like, you know what I'm saying? I was locked into this. I was locked into this, bruh. I was locked in, bro. I fuck with it heavy. I fuck with it heavy, bro. W theory video, bro. W theory video. Um. Shout out Alex Bell. Shout out Texas 